Okay, uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to record and upload because we can't get it to stream this morning, so get ready for it. We're going to have a archive service instead of a, a live service this morning. And we thank you this morning for that. Uh, in just a moment. We well, thank you so much this morning for this uh, opportunity to broadcast to all of you as we should do each and every Sunday. You're watching The Vineyard, and we want to thank you for joining us. I know the last two minutes or so, we were trying to get the stream to start, and it will not start, so we're going to record this morning and upload it later, and then work on live streaming later. But as we do every Sunday morning, um, I'll tell you what, if you see the need to help, send your check by mail, check or money order, to James Sparkus Ministries, Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. We've got word the post office grade is going up. Uh, everything's going up on us and you know we really do need the help that we can get any help we can get and we just appreciate you and may god richly bless you for that uh when we broadcast usually it's sunday morning 10 a.m we would try for live but um could not get online um so we're recording it and uploading it uh, Sunday morning, 10 a.m., Sunday evening, 7 p.m., although with my voice being still the way it is from Christmas Eve, we are going for a uh, one-service deal until my voice is better. Wednesday evening, 7 p.m., and that depends on my voice as well. <clears throat> Uh, of course, special events throughout the year, just like our New Year's Eve service, where we did watch night and welcome the new year in. Um, just look for us on James Barkus Ministries Network on YouTube. Our website's jamesbarkusministries.weebly.com. Again, I am a little under the weather, so I'm going to be as brief as possible today. jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com. I'm going to explain later uh, what happened. Prayer requests and testimonies, jbmprayerlive.com. We do not uh, participate in Twitter anymore. Uh, in case those of you who watched us before saw us on Twitter, um, we're not on Twitter anymore. And you can book us for special events, jbmworldhq at live.com. We thank you for this. So, first of all, good morning and welcome to. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to the vineyard. So, our, there's been a change in focus on this ministry.
time is short. That's the word that keeps coming to me from the Lord. Time is short. But what time is it, you would ask? And time can be a relative construct. But time is also a finite resource. There's only so much of it in a day. And once the seconds tick away, it's gone. So, for Ecclesiastes, which is where we're going today, to everything, Ecclesiastes 3, by the way, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather together stones. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, a time to lose. A time to keep, a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. <coughs> a time of war, and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth. It's not going to be a long service today. There's a time and a season and a purpose to everything under the heaven. And I can speak to this experience is sometimes a great teacher but also a inflection of correction I asked myself why certain things happened at a time that I was trying to get and keep an at-home job to care for my wife and to do other things. You see, I was good at caring for others, but not so much about myself. I guess that's evident with the voice I have right now. Slightly hoarse, but getting better. But the two infections caused me to have to step back and realize where God wanted me. And during the pandemic, which frankly is still going on, There's been chaos where I had infections, had to have surgery to get them out, hospitalizations to get infection out. Twice there was sepsis and you could say twice. I, I had some health scares. I won't lie.
the gladness that I have in me right now. The gladness that I have in me right now is the fact that I have gotten better for the most part. And yeah, I know my voice is still acting up a little bit because the cold snap back on Christmas Eve and going all the way through New Year's. But there is a time and a purpose for everything under the heaven. There was a time and a purpose for me to flunk that algebra test and told me I wasn't good at it. It's okay to be good at some things, and it's okay not to be good at some things. Things that I was told growing up, it was all part of normal life, like getting picked on, getting bullied. I now know that's not normal. I now know when you, when a person bullies, it takes out from the kingdom of heaven. No one should bully. And yes, I admit that. If I would bullied trying to defend, what I perceived as an affront to being honest, then I am sorry. And I ask forgiveness. Those that I've unintentionally bullied and didn't know it. But I too have been bullied. It takes a lot to ask for forgiveness. There is a time and a purpose for everything and a season for everything, so There's a time to go and ask for forgiveness. As it should. And there is a time to give forgiveness. I have relatives and friends that have been in danger and passed away and had health problems, emotional problems, addictions. Cherish each day with them because Our next breath is not promised. It is given by God the Father in heaven. When he breathes out, we breathe in. But what profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he labored? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. And he hath set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work of God maketh 
from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatsoever God doeth it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it that men should fear before him. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and God requireth that which is past. And moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. And I said in mine heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in mine heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Even one thing befalleth them. As the one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they all have one breath, so that a man hath no preeminence above a beast. For all is vanity. All go unto one place, and all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast goeth downward to the earth? Wherefore I perceive there is nothing better than a man should rejoice in his own works. For that is his portion. For who shall bring him to see what shall be after him? In 2022, I lost my great un I lost my uncle, Terry Michael Gulledge. But in that time, I have sent messages to check on my Aunt Laura, and she enjoys that. We all do, and we get busy from time to time with our jobs and what have you. But if you don't take the time to check on relatives, to do what's needed, to help where it's needed, then what is it? What is it that a man should forget about the responsibilities they have. That's the way it should be. That's the way it is. We all should care one for another. And if we do not care one for another, then who are we in God's eyes?
So, just like there's a time and a purpose for everything, there's a time and a purpose for salvation. Jesus Christ gave it at Calvary. I'm going to be honest. When I was told time is short, time is short. It's not the fact that we love or hate someone. But we give Romans Road out of that love, out of that responsibility that we have as Christians to lead others to Jesus Christ. For we are ministers of the Word, you and I. And all it takes is opening that Bible up and showing someone the way. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith in Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. But what saith it? <clears throat> the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call upon the name of the Lord, you're going to be saved. If I call upon the name of the Lord, I'm going to be saved. I've been saved since February 26, 1996. We are about to reach the 27th year of my salvation. 27 years since I received salvation from Jesus Christ. I was a glorified mess before, and every now and then, I still get that way because I hold myself to a higher standard. It's not fair to me to be held to a higher standard, but I chose that higher standard because that is what Jehovah and His Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost called of me to have that higher responsibility to bring souls to Jesus Christ. I don't take it lightly. I take it seriously. And it was like I told the pastor that I was under. You've got to bring souls to Christ. This isn't play. This is real. These are people's souls. You and I are responsible for. These are people's souls. You and I are responsible for. There was a time and a season and a purpose to everything under the heaven. That's back in Ecclesiastes. There was a time and a season and a purpose that I worked under him, but then the Lord said, Remove thyself. 
and hearken to my voice. And that is what I did. I did what the Lord told me to do in my heart, in my soul. If given the opportunity to change what needed to be changed, I would have changed timing and obeyed sooner. I wasn't sure of myself, and I'm never sure of myself. But I am sure of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, and He is why I do this each and every week except during the holiday schedule, which we had because everything was chaos back then. Plus, I lost my voice, so it gave me somewhat of a break to help my voice recover. So, are you ready to accept our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ? If you don't know how to pray, follow my lead. Let us pray. Heavenly Father Jehovah, we thank you. We bless your awesome name. Father, we are lost and continually try to get out of that miry clay and to put our feet on solid ground. Jehovah, we need you in our lives. We know and believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. And we know beyond any shadow of doubt whose we are in Him. Jehovah, we say thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Savior. And Jehovah, we thank you that Jesus Christ is able to fill us with the Holy Ghost, that comforter that he promised when he left this earth to prepare us a place. We believe and we receive. And we thank you. We honor you and we glorify you. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Now very briefly, I'm going to pray for all of you that prayed that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, all that prayed that prayer with me, I ask you, fill them where they need to be filled. Shore up where they need to be shored up. Give them rest where they need rest. And bless them with your love and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ, please write them in the book of life. For they have believed upon you this day. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Again, our website is jamesparkusministries.weebly.com. is jamesparkusministries.wordpress.com We thank you so much for joining us today. We pray that you will be blessed. Have a great day. If my voice is better enough tonight, we'll be on at 7 o'clock tonight. If not, I'll put a note on our YouTube channel. God bless you.